Genesis chapter 6 verse 17 and behold and even I do bring a flood of waters upon the earth mark thou a flood of water upon the earth to destroy all flesh wherein is the breath of life from under heaven and everything that is in the head shall die then in Isaiah chapter 59 verse 19 the Bible says so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood when the enemy shall come in like a flood mark that word when the enemy shall come in like a flood the Bible said the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him that is a command and that is the word of hope to all children of God today's topic is dream about flooding water then dream about flooding water connotes the power of God the anger of God it can also represent disobedient it can also represent bad foundation it can also represent divine punishment it can also represent even attack praise the living Jesus what is the relationship between a man and flood or between a man and water praise the living Jesus so when the Bible says when the enemy shall come in like a flood then we are safe to say to attribute flood as an enemy we at that particular verse and God has used flood in the time of Noah to do what to cause destruction that is that is born out of the anger of God because of what because of divine because of disobedience to God's command so when you are seeing flood in your dream it is not everything that also it's not every flood dream that also that is bad so it can just be a sign that that person is not doing the right thing or that person is committing sin not every time you pray against flood no don't time now in some cases whereby you you saw a flooded house a house is flooded in your dream a flooded house you don't want that represent that represent a big attack a big trouble in that house maybe you are you are planning to get a new house you are planning to you know to rent a house and you dream about a flooded house then it represents that that house is not safe then it represents that the foundation of that house is not good you're about to get a house maybe you're about to pack away from that present how you are to a new house then it now came whereby you're not dreaming about flooded house then it means that if you god can show you the exact house in that dream it tells you that something else like that structure you should not dare to live in with your family praise the living jesus maybe you saw flood in your community in your street then it means that something bad something or unfortunate event unfortunate event is about to occur in that street maybe like arm robbery maybe like social miscreant maybe like something that will break the peace of the community is about to come in in that street praise the living jesus whereby you, you maybe your dream where you are surrounded by flood you are surrounded by flood in the dream then it tells you it tells you that the lord is protecting you just like just like the children of israelite where the children of israelite were about to move away from that country to another place because they were surrounded by flood then when be surrounded by flood it means god is protecting you god is showing you the way just like that story praise the living jesus in some cases whereby you saw a child maybe your child maybe other people's child fall into a flood maybe during a rain in the dream you have to keep monitoring your child during rainy season so that your child will not walk into a flood and die i pray for you your child will not die in the name of jesus christ maybe in some cases whereby you saw flood pushing you i see so many cases whereby people dream evangelist flood is pushing me in the dream then if flood is pushing your dream then that represent evil strong man in your foundation they are what they are they are they are uh, they are trying to overwhelm you they are trying to swallow you that evil flood has a connection with the marine spirit that evil flood 
has a connection with the wicked forces. So you have to pray very well. If the Lord is chasing you, ah, then you have to pray against the spirit of death, restlessness. Just be running, 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 no, no place of rest. Praise the living Jesus. Maybe in some cases, whereby you solve a peaceful flood, a peaceful flood, then it means spirit of God is about to visit you. A peaceful flood. It means that the spirit of God is about to visit you. Praise the living Jesus. Maybe in some cases whereby you, you saw flood coming into your church. That flood enter into your church. Then it means that the marine spirit, they want to increase their network against that church. Against the growth of that church. Praise the living Jesus. Maybe in some cases you saw where flood destroy your properties flood maybe during rainy season that dream f destroy your properties then it means that you are uh, you are you are about to lose your weight you are about to lose your finances then you are about to lose your investment somebody that is very important to you you are about to lose it this could be a child it can also be that you are about to lose your marriage so you have to pray that God should show you more deeper revelation about the exact thing that the enemy is trying to take away from your hand. Praise the living Jesus. Maybe in some cases, whereby the flood carried your house or carry people in that dream, they carry them, then it means that those people, they are no more, they are no more under their own control. Water, they are, they are on top of the water. The flood is carrying them then it means that some forces are really controlling their life. They can't control them. Because when somebody is under, is floating on top of water, that person cannot control himself. That person has lost power. That person has lost strength. That person has lost focus. So the only thing that will be controlling that person is that flood, which represents an enemy. The enemy is controlling the affairs of the destiny of that person. And if it is a house or your money that your, the flood carried away, then you have to pray against the spirit of poverty. Eh? This is a time a man will be asking, please borrow me money, borrow me money, I'll pay you the next week, I'll pay you next time. So the next time we come, no money. Then there are the advances which the Bible has said in the book of Isaiah, chapter 59, verse 19. Praise the living Jesus. So, what are the sources behind a person dreaming about flood? The sources behind it is sin disobedient when somebody is is not working what god has to do flood will come so in in some cases whereby you are dreaming about flood every time and every time it could also be telling you my dear brother my dear sister this flood you are seeing carrying you away it can be a warning that god is not in support of your plan if you are seeing flood carrying you away, it can be that the, the wrath of God is upon your life as a result of what? As a result of your sin. If you see flood carrying you away, that's why you need to pray very well. If you see a flood carrying you away or flood enter into your house, it can also be that you are about to experience satanic visitation. So, God can use that flood dream to warn you God can use that flood dream to instruct you. God can use that flood dream to tell you to amend your ways. If you cannot get the signal behind or the meaning behind those flood dreams, then what happened? It's regret. Death. I die no. May that not, never be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. So those are the things that we are talking about. Then what are the way out? The way out is to be a friend of Jesus. The way out is to repent from every nonsense. The way out, the way out is to stop swimming. If you are a kind of person that swim in the river, swim in the swimming pool, stop swimming. The way out now is to find time to go for deliverance. Because anything that has to do with flood, carrying your property, carrying your child, carrying anything, then it has to do with marine network. Then the way out is to empower yourself with the fire of the Holy Ghost. The way out 
is to obey and akin to the voice of God. The way out is to develop the fruit and the gift of the Spirit. Then, the way out, lastly, is to barricade yourself with the blood of Jesus Christ. And the instruction behind the flood dream, you are going to go on seven days prayer and fasting. Seven days prayer and fasting between 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Seven days prayer and fasting. Take them very well. And the Lord will dry up the source of that evil flood coming towards you in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to close your eyes and say this prayer point loud and clear. Say evil flood, evil flood around my destiny dry up in the name of Jesus evil flood around my destiny dry up in the name of Jesus 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 in Jesus name we pray amen say I release the judgment of God upon my enemies in the name of Jesus say I release the judgment of God upon my enemies in the name of Jesus I release the judgment of God upon my enemies in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray amen I want you to shout this prayer point loud and clear say everything that the enemy has stolen from me in the dream using the flood dream I recover them back 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 in Jesus name we pray amen sometimes when you are seeing flood in your dream counsel me that that person is not stable a person is not stable maybe your marriage is not stable your finances is not stable anything that has to do with your life is not stable you are going to shout this prayer point loud and clear say spirit spirit of focus spirit of focus i am available possess me in the name of jesus spirit of focus i am available locate me in the name of jesus 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 in jesus name we pray amen say when the enemy shall come in like a flood the Lord shall raise a standard against them in the name of Jesus. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Lord shall raise a standard against them. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say this last prayer point loud and clear. Say, any power assigned to kill me untimely, any power assigned to kill me untimely, you are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. If you are blessed by this broadcast, I want you to subscribe and comment. Let's send your comments concerning dream about flooding. Then we shall respond to it in Jesus' name. Once again, it's Evangelist Joshua from Lagos, Nigeria.